So today was stage 7 of the 2010 FBD Ross and uh, it was the one that the second half basically drops into my training grounds. Um, woke up this morning and it was pretty wet and raining and uh, the roads were pretty wet and slippy. So the first sort of 70-80k was just sitting in the group and uh, riding along and trying to be safe. There was a few sketchy moments but uh, no, it wasn't really too bad. First major thing was though that my uh, rear derailleur wasn't working right, so all day I basically had three or four gears and I uh, had a, a 12, a 17 and a 19 and every time I wanted to change gear I'd change it on the shifter and then I'd have to tug on the wires as well. So that uh, made things kind of interesting for the climbs, but I uh, hits, well when I knew when uh, Glenn Muller or Shea Elliott climb was coming up. so positioned myself towards the front and uh, got into the lowest gear I had which was uh, 21 which was actually too low and uh, we hit the climb and I stayed with the uh, yellow jersey group there was a couple of riders in an early break that were up, a bit up the road um, we climbed we climbed it I think in like eight and a half minutes um, or eight minutes 40. I did the shale last year I bridged across two groups and did it in nine and a half minutes so <laughs> The, the pace was very, very quick. Uh, it sort of fragmented slightly at the very top of it, but um, I knew the descent, so I was able to, I was able to chase on back down. Uh, True Lara, up over the Wicklow Gap, and uh, it's, there's only a few little steepish bits on it, and almost the whole climb was big ring and 17, I think. So, like, we were trucking along, and there was attacks and things like that. Towards the top, I again sort of fell off the group a little bit but there was a few others of us uh, falling off and um, but then I caught back on in the descent basically knew there was nowhere to touch brakes and uh, I descended pretty well down that so then the final so we, we were back together as a group there was only two riders out in front and then there was like the yellow jersey group and all the other sort of jerseys uh, on the I think it was in the last uh, climb the third cast we were strung out, um, like basically one by one, and about a rider, seven or eight riders in front of us dropped a wheel, and uh, sort of our group fragmented into two. Uh, we never caught back to the lead group. We were always just a few seconds off them the whole way in, which was another 15, 20 k. Uh, some of the Rafa, Rafa guys and um, an Aussie guy who's second in the under 23, like they were really motoring along, and uh, we finished up into the town 22 seconds after sort of the, the main group. Um, it was good, uh, so I've moved up to 17th in GC now, and um, a little bit more space on the County Rider Award as well, and now my teammate uh, Thomas, who was who had a great ride today with us as well, uh, he's now second in the, the county. So. Uh, Good fun. It was nice riding my own uh, roads and one more day to go. Uh, the legs were good and I think tomorrow with a working bike it might be even better. So uh, it's good fun and um, until tomorrow.